Hey gang, this is Blendrix. I um, just wanted to give you a quick little demo here. Um, I've been working with a buddy of mine, uh, his name is Blue, here in Fort Collins, and uh, he's been trying to transition over to a more uh, digital style of DJing. He's a, definitely a traditional uh, turntablist, uh, spun on vinyl for many, many years, but it's getting to a point now where um, he needs a little more flexibility with his gear. Um, so I told him I would help him out with it. I had never actually used um, an Android tablet before, however, I, I, I use a, uh, an iPad for almost all of my um, performance stuff, and an iPad uh, paired with my MacBook Pro. Uh, so I'd never tried um, an Android tablet with Windows before. Uh, but uh, this evening, got it all working, and uh, actually have a really awesome template that I'd never even seen before this evening because I'd never tried. Um, but uh, I'll include links to all this stuff in the uh, in the video description. But this is a really really awesome template, and um, it's it's really capable of doing some pretty cool stuff. Uh, stuff that I haven't even seen in uh, templates that I've used for the um, for the iPad before. So uh, let me show you real quick. Basically, I've just got it paired with um, the uh, both of these devices are on my home wireless network, so uh, the latency would actually even be less if they were directly linked to each other the way that I normally do uh, with the um, ad hoc wireless network. Um, but as it is right now, it's it's actually really really great response for the latency. I mean, here I'll I'll, uh, I'll play a little sample here, and you you can hear that the just. Like there's almost no lag in the in the time between when I hit the button and when you hear the sample. I'm sorry, this is actually it's set up um, as quantized right now, so it's not. Uh, let's see here. Uh, there we go. So this now it should play exactly. So as you see, it's very very low latency. Um, even though it's transmitting from the pad over to my Wi-Fi router and then in, into the computer and then running through there's a piece of software um, on Windows you need to run called um, TouchOSC Bridge, I don't know if you can read that and yeah, TouchOSC Bridge um, here it is and you can find that uh, when you're downloading Touch OSC on their, um, uh, or when you go to Hexler.net, you can find the link to that software. So this is just a really, I'm, I'm actually just really impressed by how uh, thorough this is. Even though the the version of Touch OSC that's available for Android is a little behind the times, this one is version. Um, let's see if they will display on here. Yeah, it's version 1.3. Um, the one that's most current for Mac OS as of right now, I, I believe, is in the 1.8. It's 1.8.1 or something like that. Um, and one of the unfortunate problems about 1.3 uh, is that you can't actually import external um, external templates. Fortunately, the person that made this template that you saw me using um, had the necessary skill to go a little bit beyond and, and, and included the template inside the APK file when I installed it. Um, you do have to install the APK manually in Android to get this to work. Uh, but once it's installed, it's, it works just fine. Uh, you're running MIDI um, bridge over here and you just go into the application. As long as you're on the same network, you go and you click on here. And then the, the computer that you're over here will show up in this little list down here. You just click on that and it'll fill in the IP address in this field up here. Go back and then hit done. And then you see this. And it just, like, I can play what's loaded in the deck over here. Um, it's got looping controls, it's got browsing controls. I'm going to see if I can capture. What I'm about to do in frame while you can see it on the screen. But as I hit this button here, you'll see the, the track selection go down the screen. Same thing if I go up, it goes up like this. This little button up here turns it into like browser mode where it hides the deck so you can see more of what your tracks are. And then these little guys down here, are they choose which deck that tr selected track is going to be loaded into. 
Um, this is just the first page of this layout. There's this one controls a bunch of this is like more uh, fine tuned control over just the left deck, but it still gives you um, the stuff over here is is um, you still have mixer control even while you're doing more fine tuned stuff with the, the left deck. This one's for the right deck, and then these this is like a, a some sort of I guess it's like a like a, a MIDI fighter uh, replica. And there's this is for each of the effects banks. As you can see, there's plenty of stuff to go through here, and and I, th I think it's really cool that the person that made this template um, went to the trouble of adding these you know this visual feedback pretty much everywhere in this template. There's somewhere where you can see a visual representation of what's going on with the beat. So. I'm just very, very impressed uh, with the fact that this software, I mean, Touch OSC um, for Android is free. This template is free. And, um, and the, uh, the, the MIDI bridge software that connects the Android tablet itself to Windows to transmit the MIDI signal through the wireless network is also free. So overall, this is a no-cost solution. Um, I'm just I'm blown away by this. Uh, you know the the Mac side of things, you pretty much just get used to paying for stuff and and knowing that you just kind of have to accept it. But um, you know, for you people out there that uh, that like to save a little bit of money on your on your hardware and you go with an Android tablet and a Windows PC, it is totally possible to achieve basically all the same stuff that I'm doing with my iPad and uh, MacBook Pro on the PC side for way cheaper. So look into it. Be good, guys.